We are back with Wendy from Remedy Vintage, and she's going to show us how to make a cool new craft. Now, Wendy, book crafting has been popular for the last couple of years, really in book folding. Yeah. But you have another idea that we could use to repurpose our old books. Absolutely. Why is book crafting so popular, do you think? The feeling you get from books, there's a nostalgia attached to it, whether it be the history of it, the, the content. but. The look of books, and especially in what we're going to do today of having a neutral palette for books, a deconstructed look for the book is becoming very popular. Yeah. And adding the personalization, people are responding really well to because they can put any message that they want attached to these particular books. And not only is this good home decor, but probably a really great gift. Excellent gift. Okay, gifts. so what are we making? Because I see it all out here on the table. Okay. I'm excited. So we're going to take some books that we are going to deconstruct. Okay. So we're going to choose our book. Mm -hmm. And I like to choose books that, like you can see here, it has some water staining, it has some damage to it. Um, it maybe has a color that isn't right. as popular. Right. But what I love looking at the books is I love this edge here too. Like you yeah. look at the edge and how pretty that, that look is. That's what I kind of, wow. I take the book and I look at the color, content, all of that. So you choose your book. Uh -huh. And for you, if you want to do two books or three books, I'm going to do three books because oh. I'm going to do, okay. um, I'm going to do a three book stack. So I like to make them kind of even to make sure okay. the books that I put. I'm going to try that one. Oh, that's a shorty. Yeah. yeah. So we can that's kind okay. of, so like this could be the bottom. And then well, yeah, that's, I just love them all. Yeah. So we can pick like these three yeah. for for the book I'm gonna do. You can okay. pick what however many you want. I'm you want do three one. or two. Boy, you want I, just do two? Uh no, I'll do one. Just do oh, one. Oh we're doing book stack. We're gonna do stacking. So oh, you can fine. stack the book. And even I'll if you two. have one word, yeah. I like the look of having two books stacked just to bring a little bit more texture. Um, I'm gonna do these two because I like the way this is flat. Okay, beautiful. Right? Is that okay? That's perfect. Okay. It's whatever you want it to be. Okay, I'm You're the scared boss. to rip it apart. I know. And it you feel in in terms of what we're doing, we're gonna make it better. Yeah, of course. So we're, we're gonna, gonna make, make it better. better. So I like to open it like this and I like to look at both sides mm -hmm. to see what am I gonna oh, be. Mine's already falling apart. See, it's already falling apart. Yeah, it's and good. that's really kind of the yeah. idea behind it. Okay. So we want to make sure we have a blank page. I like to make sure there's a blank page mm -hmm. just so that it has like a pretty clean look. So we're going to pull this sucker off. We're just going to do this. Just like that? Yep. Yeah, mine that. came off really see? easy. See? And then look how pretty that is. So this has uh, like, you see all the age, you see yeah. all the crusty glue. And I love this. You see all the binding. The this binding. is the perfect book. Good. Because now you have this paper. Yeah. So when we do our stamp, it's perfect. Oh. So that's like gold. Oh, perfect. good, good, good. So now we're going to stamp, and I would suggest you're going to stamp right there on yeah. your paper. So we're going to put this book aside, and then we're going to get our stamps. Okay. So I'm going to choose the word home sweet home. Okay, and I'm going to go Jane. You're going to go Jane. Okay. So when I do my stamping, I'm going to start with my home, <clears throat> my H. What I like to do, I like to make sure I don't get any ink on this edge. Mm -hmm. So I like to kind of look from the side and I like to just graze it from the side so that I'm only getting the, and see how I have like a little bit in the oh, corner? Yeah. I have a little rag that I'm gonna actually take that off to make um, sure that it's a clean stamp. Mine's perfect. You did a good job. Thank you. Good job. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we get plenty of ink loaded there. Yeah. Then we're gonna stamp. So we're gonna take it. And I kind of, again, use my side view here to know where to gauge it. And it's going to be cattywampus, uh, and that's okay. It may not be even. That's kind of the look of it. That's okay. So, so then we're going to stamp. Go. Yep. So then I just stamp it, and I do a little wiggle. Just kind of wiggle right, back and because forth. because the book is because it's rounded. sort of curved. Yeah. So good work. So there you go. Oh, yeah. So that gives you kind of a faded out, vintage -y feel. Yeah, we're yes. going to get the word on there. I'm going to get Jane. You're going to do Home Sweet Home. Home Sweet Home. So I line up the side here. And then we're going to wrap it up with some um, twine. Yes. So then you can choose. So I something really popular is kind of a farmhouse look with yeah. like the jute and with a little gray stripe. Um, this is like a more ro like romantic shabby yes, look with the ribbon, with the flowers, romantic. really pretty. And then I love just jute. You know, I have a yeah, large guy, yeah, yeah. and then the guy. I love that you use the proper term, jute. jute. And then it's going to end up looking like some of our fabulous yes. books over here on display. Mm -hmm. Yes. What a great idea, Wendy. This is so much fun. Let's finish our books. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What a great craft. Thank We're all going to try it. And for more information about Wendy and Remedy Vintage, just follow her on Instagram. Get more videos like this one by subscribing right here.